Hi, I'm Nick Agar. Welcome to Dictum's Woodturning Workshop. Today we're going to discuss the various flute shapes we get on our gouges and the grinds that affect those shapes and how we use them. We have David Ellsworth's renowned gouge. It has a parabolic flute, which is a little deeper than the so-called super flute, the standard bowl gouge flute. This flute shape is perfectly suited for a special grind with the wings ground far back. The Ellsworth gouge is only available in one flute shape and the matching Ellsworth grind. For this reason, we will move directly to sharpening and explain the use later in the video. A front bevel angle of 60 degrees. On the Wolverine, we have found that a projection of 55 and a jig setting of 2 meets the given profile out of the packet. Starting on the side, roll the tool quite over, gentle pressure, very light in the middle, and you can continue to the other side. If you prefer to do one side, then the other, and you're more comfortable doing the middle afterwards, then that's okay. But for me, a continuous journey, all the way around, very gently, we'll get the job done. So, our recipe for sharpening the Ellsworth gouge. The TTS 100 we set at hole A. The projection of the tool is 75 millimeters with a jig setting of number six. Now there's quite a long way for this tool to travel. So it's probably best if you do each side separately and meet it in the middle. So I'm going to come from this side first, use all of the stone, less pressure in the centre, I'm now going to move to this side until I feel I've hit the target. It may be a good idea to use black pen on the surface of the bevel to make sure you've hit all the way around while you're getting used to this. We now show you the different cuts with the Ellsworth gouge. Screwing up the cut. Bevel rubbing cut. So, pull cut. Okay, so this is the angel hair cut, which allows us to get right up close in to where there may be an obstacle like a tenon in the way, and with the tool almost completely over, we slowly, with very gentle pressure, pull up the bowl. You can gently rub up and down, so if you have a little crease to get rid of, it's also a very useful cut. Very little pressure on the gouge, almost holding your breath, and you should have very fine shavings like this. Facing off cut across the top of the bowl. The flute is at around about 2 o'clock. Gives us a beautiful clean finish. Super cut if you're going across the top of a platter. And at last but not least, a fine hollowing cut. A finishing cut.
Don't forget your face and eye protection. Enjoy it and stay sharp.